we have always had a culture where, you know, it's really important to talk to our associates. So we had done a lot of surveying, um, a lot of lunch and learns, just a lot of, um, you know, just talking and having a dialogue with our associates. And, and so as my team and I did that, probably 90, 85, 90% of the survey responses were really positive towards remaining hybrid and being in a hybrid or actually going into hybrid because we'd all been home. So going into more of a hybrid model. So people seeing the, uh, the value of connecting in person, but also really, really liking the flexibility that the hybrid and being able to work from home certain days a week would allow. So as a senior team, we really just had, you know, multiple conversations on where did we want to to be and you know if you think about that we were mostly all of us in office people until covid you know you still had the thought that should we be in office should we be in office five days should we say it's only three days should we be completely hybrid um should we be completely remote and so we really kind of talked about all of that and it came down with the thought that we really did want to be hybrid friendly um, and, and remote friendly, but not kind of remote first. So that was when we decided to say we really would and strongly do encourage our associates based in Kansas City to be in the office Tuesday through Thursday, but that it really is their choice. And they have that autonomy to talk to their leader, make sure that their teams uh, are are all aligned and making you know the same choices on how do they want to work and that they understand how each other's working. So we really did kind of say both. We'd, we'd love to see you in, but also we know that this flexibility is important to you and you have the autonomy to do that. We had excitement mostly and we had a bit of concern on is this going to be the go forward plan for H&R Block? Is this the plan for the moment? If you recall back, it was so it was so very moment by moment that we were all making decisions on how to, to navigate in this world because none of us had been through a global pandemic before. And, um, and so when we led with it, we did say that this is this is what we're trying. And we will continue to talk to you. We'll continue to monitor. We'll continue to see what the world does. And we'll make sure that we inform you should things change and should our ideas change on this, we'll, we'll inform you with enough time to let you make adjustments that you would need to in your schedule and your life and your family if we decide that we are going to kind of return to more of a, a set schedule of being in the office. So there, there was a little bit of that. It wasn't pushback. It was more kind of um, how long are you going to let us do this? And can we count on this in the long term? So when I first think about us rolling that out, that was much more the conversation. As we continued to hire, uh, especially as I worked with Jeff and, and we were hiring new members to his executive team, and it was that 50-50 split of people being uh, working remote, living remotely, you know, I knew, we knew that that would be the direction for H&R Block because from a consistency standpoint, you know, you want to offer that same flexibility to every associate uh, that you can to the extent that their job allows it. So we knew, uh, we just hadn't really kind of put a line in the sand, but as people saw that there were, you know, more uh, associates being hired remotely, you know, that just became more and more apparent that, that that was the way we were going to work because we were we were hiring people right and, and so and they weren't weren't living here and so that just became more of a norm than it had been at all prior to COVID of course. I remember very much um, having one of our town halls which I believe would have been probably early 2023 um, that an associate asked Jeff Jones, our CEO, you know, what was our, you know, work life going to look like at Block going forward? And he said very publicly there, like, we will be going forward. We will be fully hybrid. We aren't going back from that. We are going to move that. I mean, that is who we are going to be. And it was already, you know, we knew that we were going to be that way, but I don't know that we had said it definitively up until that point. And, you know, so he kind of said that at, at that at that town hall, which our town halls have uh, all of our employees, you know, uh, attending them, whether they're virtual or in person. So that was really the declaration.
We really didn't see uh, challenges with um, retention. We definitely have seen upside with recruiting from that. Just, just having that as a stated way of working. Um, I find most people just want that flexibility. And so we definitely get positives and we hear positive things about knowing that that's, we do lead with the fact that we're kind of fully hybrid and that you're allowed to work in that manner. So that's definitely a plus.